All right, it's 20 in a row, 97.5 Y Country, Dustin Lynch. The song is called Mama's House. I'm Matt Malone, and we are starting our conversation this morning, and we're talking about things that are expired. We'll talk about that, and I'll give you the full question here uh, coming up in just a second. But uh, our question here today, as it is every single day, uh, brought to you by Rogers at Foodland and Pharmacy, and you can visit more about them at rogersfoodland.com. So uh, with that, with answering our question today, when you join us on Facebook Live, on Twitch, on YouTube, um, or just commenting on our Facebook or Instagram page, you have an opportunity to win a pretty great prize package, uh, free pizza from Pizza Hut, and a, an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen in St. Joe and in Stevensville. So those are up for grabs. As long as you join us in the conversation, you're in the running. Simple as that. Facebook or Instagram or even Twitch if you'd like. Um, so our question here today is uh, one that is something I kind of went through yesterday, um, went through uh, last night. As you may or may not know, I am very much allergic to cats. Absolutely uh, allergic to cats. And uh, occasionally, every once in a while, I'll have a cat hair uh, get stuck in my eye and my eye uh, gets swollen. It's not a good thing. Uh, however, I do have some eye drops that I can put in that have uh, antihistamine product in them that helps reduce the swelling and, and that kind of stuff. So uh, with that, it's been a while since I've had to go through this, and um, I hope I no don't have to go through it for a long time again. But I got a cat here in my eye last night. Went to go and grab those eye drops. The eye drops expired in 2018. They're basically not any good. And normally you could try to push the uh, the expiration date a little bit, right? Be like, oh, that's all right. It's still probably good. Like, you know, a couple of days after the uh, Best Buy date on your uh, on your milk, you're like, eh, it doesn't smell bad, right? We can still still use that. Not the case. This is uh, four years almost. You know that uh, this has been expired. So I want to know from you. What is the oldest, maybe most expired thing that you have found in your house? It doesn't have to be, you know, something that you found today, but maybe you found it, um, I don't know, uh, a couple of years ago. And you're like, okay, I want to talk about this. Uh, so share that with us. What is the oldest, most expired thing that you found in your house? And uh, join the conversation. And if you do join us on our Facebook Live video, uh, you'll likely be able to see uh, my eye, my left eye. Is very swollen, not uh, not as open as my right eye. Um, we just put some new. We did end up getting some new drops last night. Thank uh, goodness, my my girlfriend ran to the uh, the pharmacy uh, where she picked up some of these eye drops, and and we're gonna see if it works. I might actually have to end up going into the hospital because this eye was uh, it was bad. It was really really bad last night. So uh, join the conversation and uh, let me know what is the oldest and most expired thing that you found in your house. 925-9750 and also call us. All right. Yeah, pretty wicked stuff, man. Pretty wicked stuff. Uh, and try to open my eye wide. But my my actual eye was so inflamed. It not to be good morning, Sue. Good morning, Sue. <laughs> Uh, not to be like gross and put this terrible picture in your in your mind, but um, my eye was so swollen, the eyeball itself, it felt like it was going to explode. And that's not an exaggeration. It was very swollen. Um, so I'm hoping that we can, uh, my body will do its job, push whatever is in there out to the corners and out through the ducts. But... Hopefully it'll bring for a, a good conversation today. At least there's something that we're getting out of it, right? Oh, right. What is it for you? Oldest, most expired thing that you found in your house. I mean, this could be like seasonings too, which normally seasonings don't always, you know, don't really go very bad. But, you know, think about the things that you keep in that cupboard. Some things that maybe you touch once every six years or so. So is there anything that you found, the oldest, most expired thing that you found in your home? Maybe something in the freezer, kept in the freezer. That's where, 
<laughs> as weird as it says, uh, as weird as, weird as it is to say it this way, uh, that's where food goes to die is in the freezer, the bottom of the freezer. Uh, but, um, you know, there's things that you will refill and refill and refill and refill. And that one thing stays in there. It remains in there. So if you've got something, if you'd like to share, I would love to hear from you. What's the oldest, most expired thing that you have found in your house? And if you think I'm winking at you, I'm not. Just so you know, my eye is swollen, very swollen. Trying to open it up. Therese, oh, so great to hear from you. Cleaning on my parents' pantry in 2017, I found a can of Swiss Miss Cocoa with the expiration date. Holy cow, 1976. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is uh, pretty interesting. Therese, I hope you and uh, your husband are doing great. I uh, miss you, and uh, I, I, you know, tell them I for me, and hopefully we'll be able to see you soon, all right? Hopefully my eye will be better, too. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, Tina's got another great answer here, too. Can of peas from 2012. Don't eat peas. See? That's exactly it. You know, non, we'll say non-perishable food items are, are great to have in there, um, in your pantry, in your cupboard. You know, and then you have these canned vegetables are always good to have that um, sometimes you just don't eat. You get them because you're like, I should probably have that on hand. And according to Tina, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> great. Um, Sue, conversation topic answer. When we're cleaning out my grandma's basement cupboard, we found a pie filling that expired in 1976, about three years after they bought the house. That is incredible. You and Tari, you know, Sue, I wonder if, uh, if your grandparents were maybe friends with Therese's parents. That'd be interesting. 1976, a great year for expired food, apparently. <laughs> Great answers. Great answers. Pie filling. Sue, what's your favorite uh, pie filling? And Tina, I'm going to ask you if you're still watching this too. You don't eat peas. What is a vegetable? What is the vegetable that you go to? What is your favorite? That you're like, okay, I don't eat peas, but I, I really do enjoy this. I'll go back to Teresa's um, comment here too. Swiss Miss Coco. Um, I have to say I'm a huge fan of hot chocolate, but I really do like the ones with the marshmallows in it. Right. I don't know why. Yeah, and I like, I like putting more marshmallows in it too, but there's something about the ones that come in the package, the dehydrated mushrooms or mushrooms, Jesus, uh, marshmallows. I mean, mm. um, Sue pumpkin pie. There you go. See, I'm a strawberry cream cheese kind of guy. That for me is mm, so good. So, so good. And then uh, Tina, lima beans or green beans? I love green beans. And you know what? I actually uh, was trying to think of lima beans yesterday. I ended up saying kidney beans. Um, but yeah, lima beans, definitely, definitely delicious. I used to have those as a kid all the time. <laughs> a lot of people are like, what? That's weird. That's weird. All right, oldest, most expired thing that you found in your house. Let's see what we have on uh, our other socials, too. If I ever had strawberry Kool-Aid pie, I have not. Is that something that we can uh, make in a, an air fryer as well? Or <laughs> that's an interesting one. Never had that. Nope. Let's see. Any responses on Instagram while I'm waiting for y'all? To respond, yeah. So please tell me about strawberry Kool Aid pie. All right, here we go. So we have a couple of comments. Nope, no air fryer required. Okay, good. <laughs> baking soda. All right, so we've got one for baking soda. They didn't tell us when it expired. But their username is Seatown 1982 so I'm going to say it expired in 1982 just for 
just for my own, uh, I guess, connect the dots purposes. Okay. Anything else on our, okay. We've got some good ones here too. Um, Lynn says found it last year in the back of my pantry. Bisquick pancake mix best used by February. Nope. December 2010. Wow. Uh, Mary Lou bottle of peroxide expiration date, 2018, uh, jars. <laughs> oh, Dorothy. There are jars of pickles and beans in my mom's basement that she canned when I was a kid. If that counts and I'm 60, that definitely counts. And wow. Uh, we have Joyce who says syrup expired in 2009. That can't even be like, that it, it doesn't even run anymore. That is likely a solid piece of candy. Now it's hardened. That's <laughs> where, it's where Werther's come from. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we have Sherry who says sweetened condensed milk expiration date 11, 2005, toss it and went to the store. <laughs> Good choice. Don't feed that. Don't feed the expired food to your family or friends. Oh, great. A box of peeps. That was six years past. It's best sold by date. Yeah, that's good. And Diana says spices. You know, it's interesting when spices get old, like how ridiculously hard it is to get them out of the container. Like it, if you have to like, like pickaxe it to try to get the spices to loosen up, to get that out of the container, you need to just get rid of them. You need to just get rid of them and go buy something new. Man. What is the spice uh, while we're here chatting too? What's the spice that you use the most? Is there a spice that you use that you're like, okay, I'm going to use that a lot. We've got um, here. Um, Gina's uh, boss makes seasoning. It's called chef's blend, a chef's blend seasoning um, for Hayes. And it is uh, delicious. It is delicious. That and garlic salts, uh, we use a lot here. All right, let's see what Tony says here. Cleaning out my great aunt Frances' house after she died in 2006, we found a can of pumpkin from 1960s. The contents had dried up and they rattled. Yuck, gross. <laughs> That's gross. Uh, so Tony, how'd it taste? That's the real important question we need to know. <laughs> uh, I could already hear you say we didn't eat that. <laughs> Great answer. All right, let's get uh, the recipe from Sue. One packet of strawberry Kool-Aid, one can of sweetened condensed milk, one container of cool whip, one pie crust, mix everything, but the pie crust good. Cause I would have done that. Crumpled it all up, put it all in there and pour the mixture into the pie crust. Let's sit in the fridge for an hour. Most amazing pie ever. I am willing to try it. I'm willing to try that. Um, Tina spices that she uses the most seasoned salt or Mrs. Dash season salt is fantastic. Um, I am a fan of Lowry's seasoning salt and I use that. You can put that on, on meat. Um, but my favorite place, uh, that I've used that is going fishing up with my grandpa in Canada and we were on a uh, remote Island where we caught the fish and we ate the fish that we caught. And uh, we brought some um, butter Pam. We sprayed that on the one side of the filet, sprinkled some seasoned salt on it, threw it on the grill, then sprayed the other side with butter Pam and then sprinkled the uh, seasoning salt on that. It was fantastic. We'll always, always remember that. And uh, all right. Sue says it takes literally about three minutes to make. Awesome. And uh, correct. <laughs> I know it did. <laughs> All right, we're going live in 15 seconds. Here we go. We're going to revisit some of this conversation on air. Twenty in a row, 97.5 Wide Country, and uh, Eric Church. If you missed it, has a new album that is out today, and uh, very excited for Heart to be released and be able to listen through that all the way. I haven't been able to listen to it all yet, but. That's on my to-do list today. Uh, our conversation topic that we have today, what's the oldest, most expired thing that you found in your house? Uh, stemming from the conversation I brought up earlier about me uh, having an allergic reaction uh, to a cat hair in my eye as my eye is completely swollen and needing to find some relief in my eye drops, my medicated eye drops that 
unfortunately have been expired since 2018. So that's what led us to this point. And we've got some great answers that have come through here already. Uh, Therese commented and said, cleaning out my parents' pantry in 2017 and found a can of Swiss Miss cocoa with an expiration date of 1976. Now that's old, she says. And uh, going along the same lines, same year, which is pretty impressive here. Uh, Sue came back with conversation topic answer. When we were cleaning out my grandma's basement cupboard, we found pie filling that expired in 1976, about three years after they bought the house. Now let's continue this uh, six degrees of se separation here. Uh, Tony commented, cleaning out my great aunt Frances' house after she died in 2006, we found a can of pumpkin from the 1960s. The contents had rattled up or had dried up and the, uh, they rattled. Interesting. The, the common theme here, 60s and 70s and pie. All right. Apparently it's a hot thing back then. Oh, so great answers there too. Um, and we also have Tina who says a can of peas from 2012. Don't eat peas. So what is it for you? that maybe you have found in your home and you're like, man, I cannot believe I held on to this that long. It's been expired. That's crazy. I've kept on and held on to it. Um, we do have some other responses here on our Facebook page. I want to throw a couple of answers out here too. Lynn says, uh, found it last year in the back of my pantry. Bisquick pancake mix. Best used by December of 2010. <laughs> All right. Great answer there. And uh, we also have uh, a few others here too. Dorothy says there are jars of pickles and beans in my mom's basement that she canned when I was a kid, if that counts. And I'm 60. Absolutely does count. Doesn't have to exactly be your house. Maybe it's somebody else's house and you found it. I hope it's not one of your friend's house and you called them out on it. Be like, hey man, this, uh, this needs to go in the trash. This is about 15 years overdue. <laughs> All right, what's yours? Join the conversation, 97.5 Y Country on Facebook and Instagram and on Twitch and on YouTube. We are streaming live right now, and you can join the conversation, your chance to be our social star of the week. All right. So some really good conversations so far coming through with some of these items. Um... Sweetened condensed milk expiration date, 11 of 2005. Sweetened condensed milk. You never, I never realized how much people use sweetened condensed milk. I don't. You give me that 2%. <laughs> and I'm good to go. Uh, just kidding. I don't know. Do people actually drink sweetened condensed milk? That sounds terrible. <laughs> Oh, great. So yeah, join the conversation. You can comment um, below and you can uh, yeah, join us in, in the expiration games that we're talking about. The oldest, most expired thing that you have in your house. What is it for you? I, uh, again, had uh, a terrible, I, I mean, you can still see it. How much less open my left eye is on my right eye, right? There's something in there. And I can't find it and I need to get it out because my eye is in pain. I did sleep pro right last night though. The good news is my eye reduced swelling enough to where my eye could close. You ever had that problem? Never heard of people drinking sweet and condensed milk. I hope not. I don't think it's a thing. I really don't, but I hope they don't. I hope they don't. Oh, man. All right. We're going to wrap up the conversation here in about, I don't know, I want to say eight minutes. All right, real quick. Think a Little Less by Michael Ray or Hicktown by Jason Aldean. What do you want to hear? Comment below. You're picking the playlist today. You join the conversation topic with me, you get to pick the playlist. That's, uh, that's how we make things work. I'm really excited about that Eric Church album, by the way. Be able to listen to that. It's going to be really good. A couple songs I heard off of it. Awesome. If you didn't know, too, um, so again, the, the album came out. It's called Heart. And he uh, 
rented out an old restaurant. I don't know if it was like still an active restaurant or if it was just like a restaurant that was closed down during the pandemic. And he was like trying to help him out and pay him and they recorded in there, but got him out of their uh, comfort zone. And, and not only it was his songwriters, the producer and his band that were there, get him out of the studio environment, put him there. It's pretty cool. All right. Let's see what we got here. Diana, we moved into my uh, husband's grandma's rental house and there were jars Oh, jarred uh, fruit and pickles from the 80s. No, thanks. <laughs> the pickles still have a crunch. They're still good. <laughs> nope. No, thanks. <laughs> That's great. Oh, yeah. Um, jarred fruit. I don't know. I don't know about that. <sighs> I don't think I've ever had jarred fruit like that. Like canned fruit, unless it was like jam, obviously, or jelly preserves. Um, but every time somebody says jarred fruit, it reminds me of those little uh, fruit cartons that have the uh, the syrup in them, right? That you take it to, to lunch or whatever as a kid. Diana, no. <laughs> so Diana did not eat the pickles or the fruit uh, to see if they were still good. Good choice. That's a very good choice. Um, all right. Sue says they're fixed. Uh, fixed our deck. Okay. I think she meant they were fixing our deck when we lived at an apartment. My daughter was about six months and crawling. Anyway, she smacked right into the eye. Had to go to the ER. He sent me to an eye doctor. Come to find out it was a metal shaving that was tracked into the house from the deck replacement. No, had to have a band-aid contact lens put in worst week ever. It sounds terrible, man. Like I'm miserable right now as it is. I can't imagine having a piece of metal stuck in my eye. Here's the other thing. I was a mess yesterday, apparently too. So I was helping, um, helping Zayden, um, make a, a project for school, which was really fun for me because it reminds me of when I was a kid, but uh, we had to make a bow and arrow um, for some native American um, subject that they were learning about in school. And so I go out there and he's helping me, you know, I give him the, uh, the shears to cut off the stick off of uh, the tree out back. And, um, you know, he helps with, you know, bring that out, but I wanted to make sure I got at least the base of it, um, you know, trimmed off with the branches. So that way he doesn't have to do it. And it's a, a not a big old stick, obviously it's for a bow. So I'm sitting there trying to cut the edges off or cut the branches off of it. And I use a knife and I ended up uh, slicing my thumb and slicing a little bit here. Not bad, but man, they were bleeding to get, I mean, if it was like a, a race, my, uh, my blood was trying to win. That's for sure. Trying to get out of me. <laughs> and then my eye is just pff, can't win. Nothing can't win. Nothing. Uh, anyways, the great news is the bow looks great. Um, he did a really good job with it. I pretty much walked him through all the steps from my past experience of uh, creating things like that. But, um, it was cool. Yeah. So I, just to get the, uh, you know, edges a little bit smoother, I held the chisel and I had him hammer them down and um, we put in little notches for the, the string. So that way the string doesn't move. And uh, he tied those up and did all that. So I'm, I don't know. It's pretty cool. It looks pretty cool too. We're going to put you <laughs> gonna put you in a bubble. Can't be trusted with you. That's true. The fact of the matter is I'm basically in my own bubble in this back bedroom <laughs> in, my, in my home studio. Uh, and I still find a way to hurt myself. I'll tell you what. Oh my goodness. Well, in the, I mean, I was outside after all. I just, I just can't go outside anymore. I'll just have to look at the outside through the window with my one good eye. <laughs> oh, I really hope I don't have to go to the hospital. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Yes, I did. 
Yep. Are they? Do they still make Swiss Miss there? They do. They have to. Or did they expand it? I don't know. Tony, you'll have to give me that information. I don't know. Everything's changed there. But um, I keep thinking of Nestle, the Nestle plant, too. Because um, I thought that was just baby food. I don't know. Baby formula, maybe. Baby formula and hot cocoa. It's really not that much different, right? Oh, good stuff. All right. We've got about three minutes left. And we're going to pick our social star of the week. I've got to do that here. See if we have any more responses that come through on our Instagram. We do not. All right. Let's check Facebook one more time. And we've got nine comments there. Plus 20 here. All right. Random.org. This is how I do it. Random.org. And 29 responses. Swiss Miss and Menominee. And your old roommate Chad's grandfather used to ship milk there. There you go. Was that Greg's dad? It had to have been. Or is that Connie's Connie's dad? Grego. <laughs> um, okay, cool. I guess I uh, didn't realize that that connection was there. That's awesome. Swiss Miss. Delish. All right, let's see. All right, let's see here. We've got about a minute left. All right, 30 seconds left, and we're going to be coming back on the air. Am I going to the eye doctor? I might. I don't know. If I can get out of myself, I'm not going to. Uh, I don't want to. And it was Greg's dad. Okay, yes. I know Paul. Yeah, I know Paul. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, here we go, guys. Live on the air in 10 seconds. Twenty in a row, ninety-seven five. Why country? That is Dylan Scott, and his new song is called "Nobody." And we are making somebody a winner today. You could be our social star of the week by commenting on Matt Malone's question. Search for ninety-seven five Why Country on Facebook and Instagram. Presented by Stain Key Farms CBD. Check out stainkeyfarms.com to see where they'll be doing pop-ups this week. They do have a really cool deal going on for Mother's Day as well. Um, if you are, you know, maybe thinking of something for your mom, uh, the bouquet bash is going to be happening May 1st. And there is a $30 admission, but that price includes a special gift from Stanky Farms. Uh, you also have $10 worth of food there that is uh, delicious for Woodstock and Grill. And you get a ticket to be able to go and win some prizes too. So Stanky Farms has a lot of great opportunities there for you. And uh, yeah, you even have a chance to win a $100 gift basket. And that is going to be held at Stinky Farms, 2000 West Shawnee Road in Baroda. And check that out. Again, uh, more information, Stinky Farms Facebook page and even their website. Our social star of the week, you go ahead, you comment and join us in conversation here on Fridays. And you have a chance to win free pizza and an ice cream cake. 
And with that, I take all of the responses, Facebook, Instagram, our live video, and we put that total number in a random.org and it generates a random number, a random number today, 26. And that means Sue, who is our 26th comment today, you win that pizza and ice cream cake. So congratulations to you. And thanks for joining us in conversation. A lot of other great answers that have come through here uh, for our question that I want to make sure that I share because these answers are really good. Asking what's the oldest or most, most expired thing that you found in your house. And uh, we have a few responses like Joyce who says syrup expired in 2009, which makes it now a piece of hard candy in my opinion. Um, we also have the uh, box of peeps that was six years past its best by or best sold by date. So um, with that, that was from Jan and then Diana as spices as well. So uh, bottle of peroxide expiration was 2018. That was from Mary Lou. A lot of other responses you can check for yourself. 97.5 Y Country on Facebook and on Instagram. You can see them for yourself. And maybe you've got something on top of your mind that is old and expired that you found. Check it out there. It's 20 in a row. 97.5 Y Country. Congratulations again, Sue, our social star of the week. All right. There we go. Congratulations, Sue. I will uh, have you send us a message uh, with the redemption instructions, okay? So we can make that happen. Other than that, uh, everybody that was commenting and joining the conversation, I appreciate it. Uh, I'm happy to be able to do something fun like this and be able to connect uh, as best as we can <laughs> with, uh, you know, doing your conversation topic. So I appreciate it, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next week.